We developed the Vacation Bible School Summer Missionary Program five years ago. And the reason we came up with this program is we saw the need for greater evangelistic results in South Florida. When we first developed the program, the, the, the idea was that we would help churches that had neither had a vacation Bible school or a baptism in the last two years. And so as we began searching for churches like that, we began to reach out and the program began to grow. Are you guys ready to go inside? Yeah! It makes me so glad that I'm able to do this and that um, God has given me the opportunity to, um, to use my summer for His glory because of these, these children are, are actually being changed and it's, it's a wonderful experience. Yes, and He doesn't just forgive us once, He forgives us all the time. I'm actually a missions major, so for me this was the perfect opportunity to get a taste of the mission field. Well, they're so easy to work with. They're willing to do anything we ask them to, fill in at the last moment. They worked with the children this morning after the evangelism service, and they are just here to do whatever needs to be done, and they're so adaptable. We appreciate that. They have been flexible, they have been fluid, and we had 37 three and four year olds, and without them, we couldn't have done it. They came in and they just made the difference. These people become a part of your heart and it just means so much to be there with them because they love you and you love them and you're getting to see Christ change their lives and it's the, it's the best thing ever. They're so enthusiastic about what they're doing. So it really gives the, the teens and the adults and everybody in VBS a, a good drive to be out every night. They're really a blessing to us. It has really made me realize how much you can impact people and ma really made me realize how much your attitude and your joy and Christ in you is contagious and can fill others. It has built enthusiasm among our own workers as they see the enthusiasm of the summer missionaries, especially the, the children and, and, and young people. They see exemplify the kind of commitment that we are trying to get them to make through these summer missionaries. I've seen with one church that we were at, the church was, is, was relatively small and they didn't have necessarily a lot of unity in the church. And through just a week of VBS, they learned to communicate with each other and just to grow and work alongside each other. And they were so unified when we left that it was hard to leave because we'd watched them grow and now we want to see what they go and do. And I, it just makes a difference in the lives of these churches more than you can ever see right away. I think it's great that we can come in and give their kids something that they wouldn't normally experience and they just have the joy of the Lord in their hearts. That's like the song we believe, right? God does not call the equipped. He equips the called. And by equipping me, he called me. So these kids just look up to me somehow, and even some of them are my own age, and they just ask questions, and I happen to be prepared for them. And God just prepares me for that. I'm not talking about baptism. Baptism is important, but it has nothing to do with salvation. We have 11 summer missionaries serving in South Florida. And this summer they have served 40 churches and they have ministered to more than 2,800 different children. And over the course of the summer, we have seen 160 different professions of faith. While the statistics we have are impressive and beneficial, they don't really tell the full story. These stats don't tell us about the children that get excited about studying their Bible on a regular basis. They don't tell us about how children are beginning to become more serious about their walk with Christ. And maybe they didn't pray to receive Christ over the summer, but both they and their families may be praying to receive Christ in the next six months to a year. We are confident that because these two ladies gave their summer, that lives in our communities have been changed. Not only do they invest in students, the gospel, but families of these children have been impacted as well. So we give God thanks for these two young women. You don't have to be perfect. God, they know that you're not perfect. You don't have to have the exact words to say. You just have to pray and you have to know that it's God and He's going to work through you and He's going to use you in an awesome way. It's like, did you know that um, because we sin, we can't be friends with God unless we like, um, unless we have that friendship with Jesus? And she goes, no, I didn't know that. Um, and so I was like, so that's why it's cool. And now Jesus will always be with you. And that was really cool because I never, I never had to do that before. It's like the best feeling in the world, just seeing I mean, seeing this kid who, you know, you can tell the first day, the ones that are fighting it, that like God's really talking to them, but they don't really want to see it, they don't want to listen. And then when they finally just kind of surrender it all, it's just like that whoa feeling, it's just awesome. I think that donations towards a program like this is very useful and helpful and needed because I think it's really important to encourage the youth and especially the young adults of our nation that they can do something for the Lord. 
and that they have a purpose and that God has designed them to do something for their life right now. Um, it's for planting the seed. It's for salvation for these kids. And that's the most important thing that we can think of. One of the things I see at the very beginning of the summer to the end of the summer, these kids really connect with each other. They connect with God. They are so open to where God leads them and they are obedient. It's an exciting thing. This summer we've already had two students decide that they wanted, as a result of their time, to pursue full-time vocational ministry service. Father, I love you, I praise you, and I, I love these young men and women. In your holy precious name, amen. amen. Before I always thought, well, I'm going to be a pastor, I know that, but I don't know where, but I'm, I'm probably going to be within the United States. But just by being in missions, I've realized, I mean, Let's face it, Fort Lauderdale is just a complete different area. It's just so awesome to see all the different cultures getting along. And so I just felt like, you know what, maybe I could be called to be a pastor outside in another country where I won't get paid as much, but God will supply everything I need. Um, I definitely feel like I've been called by God to be an elementary ed teacher. So just this is a great experience for me. And just getting out, stepping out in faith and being like, okay, I'm going to share my faith and God's going to take care of the rest and that's pretty exciting. So. During the last five years, we have sent 71 different Vacation Bible School missionaries to South Florida. They have served 235 different churches in South Florida. During that time, we've seen more than 15,000 people attend Vacation Bible School through their work, and we have seen more than 1,200 decisions for Christ. Wow, this has been the most humbling, growing experience of my entire life. and never having chances before to do something this amazing and this life-changing has just changed my heart 100%.